Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to see a tutorial about how to use some simple tools in Adobe After Effects to create this animation. So I have downloaded the vector illustration and I have opened it in Adobe Illustrator to show you how I organize the file for After Effects. As you can see, I have separated all the objects in different layers. That's very important to be separated in layers and not just objects because the same layers will be used by After Effects. In addition, I have added names to each of these to recognize them and these will be used in After Effects as well. Then I just have to save it as a PDF file. Now I'm going to After Effects and I will not create a new composition because this will be done directly through the PDF file. So I double click here to add a new file. I will select the file and then it's very important to choose uh, here on the importer as composition retain layer sizes and have the create composition tick. As you can see now it has created the composition so I can just double click it and open it. Below there are all the layers in the same order with the same names as they were on Illustrator. In order to be easier for me to identify them, I will change some colors on the layers by right clicking on the color box. Ok, that's better. Now I want all the vector shapes to retain their high quality and I will do that by clicking this diamond icon here. That means that if I increase the size of the shape, the quality will remain crisp. Ok, so now, assuming that the composition by the end of the animation will look like about the same as it is now, I will add a keyframe for the position at around the 5th second to keep the final positions. I select all the layers except the background, I will click the P key on the keyboard and add a keyframe. I will also add easy ease to the keyframes because I want all the motion to be smooth. So I will do that by pressing the F9 key on the, on the keyboard. On the Mac you can click first Fn and then F9. And now I'm going to move the current time indicator a bit backwards to start the animation. For now I'm going to hide the clouds and most of the other objects like uh, the train or the cars as well as the trees. So the first things I want to add on the scene of the animation are the buildings that appear to be far away so on the background the, the white ones then I want to add the blue ones in front and finally to add the, the buildings on the foreground I will keep also the ground which will be something like the road and yeah, let's get the airplane so yeah we have these four which are kind of the buildings that they are very far away. Uh, so I will add a keyframe here for all of them. So no, actually I will move these keyframes a bit earlier. And then I go like, I don't know, it's kind of one second or something, two seconds here, yeah, earlier. And I'm going to bring them down. So as long as I have all, all of them selected, I click and hold and drag them down. This is okay because it is behind the ground object. This white thing is the ground of it object. So if I play that, it will, be, it will go like this. Yeah, I want it to be much quicker. Okay. And I don't want all of them to appear at the same time, so I'm going to change the bit to have like this a bit later. Then I want the blue buildings that appear to be in front of them to move in about in the same time but with a slight delay. I will click the key P on the keyboard to see the position handles and I will move these keyframes quite earlier. I will do the same and drag them down maybe a bit later to have a slight delay. I will also put a slight delay between them like this. Okay, so there is also a sign on the buildings, like a glow from the sun. I will appear that with uh, the opacity, so I will have it 
on low opacity like 0% and then I will make it 100. I will click the T key on the keyboard, T for transparency, I think. I will add a keyframe here and make it easy ease. And then maybe a second earlier, I will make this 0%. So yes, first the, the buildings move in and then the sign appears. Next I will add the buildings that they are on the foreground. So I want the red layers. I will move the key frames quite earlier, like here. And about a second earlier I will make them again, ah, let's make them visible. So I will drag them down and uh, here they were supposed to be hidden so I will move the ground layer above them This is how they should be Maybe a bit quicker and we can slightly change the delay between them And I will also move them earlier because I want all of the buildings to appear at the, about at the same time. Okay, so now we can animate the bridge. Uh, I want it to slide in from the right to the left. So I will add a keyframe for the position. Ah, I have this one here, so I will drag it there and then I will click and drag it all the way to the left, to the right. So let's play it. Yes, maybe it's lower. Next, we have the green layers. We have this uh, layer, which is the green spaces, kind of, you know, benches or something. Maybe I will put this keyframe here and then like Again, maybe a second earlier, I will move them down. Let's play that again. Yep, like this. And somewhere at the same time, we, we need the trees to appear as well. So let's move all these keyframes earlier, make the trees visible and go about half a second earlier and move the trees down. We need also to add the slight delays between them. Let's play that again and see. Yeah, you see that the trees are not all at the same time, but they have a slight delay between them. Now let's animate the airplane. We need to make it visible first. Then we can move the keyframe earlier. And then again, let's go a couple of seconds earlier, maybe one second, and bring it all the way to the left. Let's make it play. But as long as it is an airplane, it has to go all the way to the right, so it will not stop into the frame. So let's change the position of the second keyframe and move the airplane all the way to the right. Let's make it play again. I think it's very quick, so maybe we can make it a bit slower by moving uh, the two, making more space between the two keyframes. Now it looks good. So another thing we can do is to duplicate the airplane layer so we can have two airplanes and change the keyframes to have them like in a different time or make it slower or quicker. In addition, we can scale it down to make it smaller and this way it will look like it is a bit far away. I also want to move the second airplane a bit higher, but if I just grab the airplane and move it, it will change the, the angle of the motion, which we don't need that. So what we will do is to select both keyframes of the position and I will click here on this dot, which is the end of the motion, and I will drag it higher. Let's see that now. 
see the other one yeah okay next we need to add the train and the cars let's see the train first so the same as the airplane the train we need to go all the way from the right to the left okay so we have this keyframe but i will make it all the way to the right and then a bit later we will make it all the way to the left let's see how it is as you notice the train is in front of the building so we need to move the train layer below the building yep this is what we need and now we also need to make the train go slower then we can continue with the clouds which will be similar to the train because we need to be from one side to the other but we can have them from both directions maybe the clouds can appear about the same time with the planes so let's move these keyframes in front and then go a couple of seconds earlier but yeah first we move it to one side we move some other clouds from the other side let's see how it is but for the clouds let's make it more because we need them to be much slower also as mentioned they need to move all the way to the opposite side and again you see the the clouds that are in front of the building so they need to go all the way to the bottom and even behind all the buildings let's have a look on that well i don't really like how some of the clouds are in front of each other so we can adjust the height of them to be in a i mean a different level let's see that now yep looks fine so the last ones are the cars which i will use exactly the same method as i did with the clouds but maybe a bit quicker than the clouds and now that we have finished the animation we can just add it to render queue and export the composition as a video so in order to do that we have selected the composition we go on the composition above and we go up to render queue and then we can go and select what kind of file we'd like to export the settings the quality and all of this stuff and then we can change the name and the location we'd like to save the file finally you just need to click the render button the rendering process may be too fast or too slow that depends on the power of your computer so that was it, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. See you on the next one.